I just came back from the Too Many Games Video Game Expo in Oaks, Pennsylvania, and it was freaking amazing. I'm gonna talk about all the cool stuff that I saw there, and I'm gonna show you the video games that I picked up from there. I also visited Goodwill and a video game yard sale that same day. It was a long day, but I got some awesome stuff. We're gonna see if I really did get a deal trying to pay retail prices at an expo. Very challenging, but I got some Nintendo stuff, Super Nintendo stuff. A couple rare items I think you'll like, so stay tuned and check this out. everybody, Brendan here, aka Mr. Weaverface. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video is going to be a little different though. I am going to talk about the pickups that I got, but I'm also going to talk about the Too Many Games video game conference. It was awesome. If you have not been to this and you live in the Northeast and you love video games, uh, yeah, if you haven't been to this, I don't know what rock you're living under, but it is an awesome place to check out. Every single game that you could probably think of, they had it there. Now, before I went there, I made a want list and I found pretty much everything on my want list, but I have not stepped foot inside a retail store in such a long time and I was totally unprepared on the high retail prices of everything. And I don't know if it was jacked up just because they had to pay money for a booth and go to this conference, but I thought retail prices were kind of like eBay prices, but they're above eBay prices. For instance, I saw one stand that had three Yes, three copies of Little Samson. No wonder you cannot find this freaking game out in the wild. They're hoarded by these retailers. So someone had three copies. They were asking $1,200 a copy. And I, the same vendor had a Nintendo World Championship grade cart. And they, had also, they also had Magic cards there. And they had a Black Lotus, either Alpha or Beta. I didn't look too closely. Asking $8,500 for it wasn't even professionally graded. So just as an example how much things were going for there, it was very frustrating me as a deal seeker uh, to really justify spending money. If I if I really wanted to get the game, I could have spent, if I wanted to get all the games on my want list, I literally could have spent thousands of dollars doing so. And I really, I don't know. I, I, I can't bring myself to do that. I need to find the deals. But I still did find some deals despite uh, I did find deals going uh, buying games at the expo. I also hit up a uh, video game yard sale before that and they also went to Goodwill after that. So let's discuss the games that I found at all those places and then we'll talk a little bit more about too many games. Video game yard sale? Really? Yes, it was a yard sale and all there were, were video games there. There was a guy who was getting out of the reselling business on the internet. He was selling all of his excess inventory. Unfortunately, I did not get there right at the start of the yard sale, so I missed out some, out on some good buying opportunities. He was selling at less than retail prices, so it was kind of like eBay prices, so not nothing too, no real deals. I did get a couple deals though, I think. Uh, let me start with some good games. Uh, the first game that I saw that I haven't seen anywhere, really, uh, is Super Bonk for the Super Nintendo. Played it a little bit, it seems very cool. Cannot wait to check that out further. Common games here, Howl's Hole in One Golf. I love golf and I remember playing this as a kid, so I'm glad to pick that up. And also Pim Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. I have two kids and I don't have this game. I think they'll enjoy playing that for my Super Nintendo. All right, so I'm gonna go over a bunch of Nintendo games that I got now. I got Ninja Gaiden with the manual. Unfortunately, I, I do try to keep my games uh, very organized on an Excel spreadsheet and unfortunately I didn't think I owned this game but when I came home I, I do own this game with the manual so unfortunately I have to resell this. Um, next game I found was Gauntlet 2 with the manual Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Always cool to pick up an RPG. Hopefully the battery works because it's like to what 30 years old now. Uh, Star Voyager by Acclaim. Trade West High Speed World's number one pinball. Hopefully that pinball game's good. I like pinball games. Solstice and Destination Earth Star. The weird thing is that 
I go to all these yard sales and stuff and I already think that I own all these games that are common but when I went to look when I actually finally searched through my Excel spreadsheet I did not have a lot of these common games so I have to be on the watch for these now to add to some obviously I would love to have a complete collection probably will never get uh, stadium events but or <laughs> yeah whatever uh, Milan secret castle Wizards and Warriors. Hide Glide. Couple PS2 games there. Blood Rain 2 and the Summoner complete. Kind of X Men game for the Sega Genesis. And then when I got there, I saw some guys leave with some box games. I was like, huh, oh, they have box games here. Um, but when I went there, they didn't have too much. But they did have Gremlins 2. I paid about 14 bucks for this and it does go a little bit more 20 30 bucks on eBay nowadays so that was a good find actually one of the one of the only deals that I got and then Dick Tracy box is okay game is but I don't have it boxed I do have the cart I'll be able to upgrade so those are the games that I got at the video game yard sale on to the next venue Here's some uh, hardware that I got from the Too Many Games Video Game Conference. You get a nice looking badge to hang around your neck. And when you get your badge, just a couple of recommendations when you go there. They do have food there, but it's overpriced and not that good. And you have to wait in a long line because there's pretty much so many people there. But you are free to enter and leave uh, Too Many Games once you get your badge. So if you start getting hungry uh, after you've been there a couple hours, there's tons of restaurants right around the place. Um, I went to Moe's for some Mexican food and that was definitely helpful in getting me re-energized for the afternoon rather than wait around for crappy food at the place. So um, if, you have a, if you have a car while you're there, just drive around, you'll find a lot of cool stuff. Um, I do like the program. It's pretty much like a Nintendo Power. And inside, uh, they you know have the schedule right here. They have the map. It's a three-day conference and the busiest day is Saturday and that's the day that I ended up going down but they have a lot of talks a lot of panels a lot of music they have video game bands going on uh, awesome stuff and then kind of like Nintendo Power they have the classified information and they have descriptions of the bios of the uh, youtubers and uh, the bands and everyone that's there and they have advertisements in the back so very cool and just to describe other stuff that was there they did not just have video games they had video game merchandise t-shirts uh, there were a lot of uh, people who designed like indie games there. I saw some cool indie games uh, there with the developers. So that was cool to talk to them. And they had uh, card games, board games, uh, pretty much anything video game related. Anything gaming and video game related, it was there. So very cool experience. Now I did not get too many games at too many games because there were literally too many games that were outside of my budget. Um, the one thing I regretted is they had a Super Turrican in the box asking for 80 bucks. I should have gotten it, kicking myself in the butt for not getting it because the box looked amazing. But again, I hate paying high prices for games even though it wasn't too bad. That's the one regret of the games I didn't get. But here are the games I did get. I only got like a handful. Uh, good story with this one. I got Super R-Type. I do own this game already for the Super Nintendo, but it's a non-working condition. I tried cleaning it and everything, but it wasn't working. I got it from like a video game lot a while ago. And I do like this game. Uh, it had six bucks on it, but I offered five. He took five for it. And then literally five seconds after I paid for it and walked away from the stand, I found a five dollar bill on the ground. So I pretty much got Super R-Type for free. So that was my highlight for the weekend. Another game that was on my want list is Biometal, and this is a side-scrolling shooter. Paid 20 bucks for it, they were asking 25. There was a sticker on the back that came off no problem. Uh, the label looks pretty good, there is a scratch there, but um, this was on my want list, so I was glad to get that. And I only got a couple more Super Nintendo games. There was uh, a couple more Nintendo games. There was a box there. Uh, three games for 10 bucks. So I got Cybernoid the Fighting Machine. Got Dragon Spirit. And I also got Dig Dug 2. A couple stickers on there on Dig Dug 2, but I am a Dig Dug fan. And I've never played Dig Dug 2, and I'm hoping it is as good as Dig Dug 1. 
So awesome experience at Too Many Games. Like I said, if you have not been there, it's usually in June in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Please check it out. I'll put the uh, website down there below so you can check it out. Uh, one thing that I wish I did get was a Too Many Games t-shirt. It was pretty much designed kind of like Earthbound. Um, I'm going to see if I can get it online uh, somehow or if you if you got an extra t-shirt. Uh, if you have a large, please let me know. I will send you the 15 bucks uh, that it cost uh, for the t-shirt. So I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, on to the next pickup. So even after getting all those video games, I still decided to stop at a Goodwill on the way home. Goodwill that's close to my house. And I did find some video games there. Usually I don't find much. Um, nothing too spectacular, unfortunately. Uh, PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits, Namco Museum 3 for the PlayStation. Speed Racer the video game. And they call it Speed Racer the video game in case you can't tell that a Speed Racer in a PlayStation 2 box is not a video game. Uh, the Ultimate Board Game Collection, 20 classics. I paid about two bucks a piece for all of these and they're not worth more than that, unfortunately. Uh, Commandos 2 Men of Courage. Looks like a strategy war game. And then Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. And then uh, most of those are complete. I think one of them is missing manual. So nothing too spectacular, but there was all the games that I got from the Goodwill.